Hi Taurus. Okay, so give me a moment to look at what we have. And we have some very interesting cards uh, coming up in May. And to start with, let's start with, we have the Nine of Swords and the King of Wands. And the Nine of Swords is the card that indicates some worry over an issue and some stress. And in terms of our daily life, it's a, it's a stress that is important enough that keeps you up at night. So Taurus, there's something coming on the horizon in the early part of May that is gonna cause you some concern and some, uh, just some upset. And it could be something that, uh, it could be as uh, relationships that someone maybe has said something un uh, unkind to you and has hurt your feelings, or that it's a financial pressure and maybe you're, Finances are a little bit out of sorts and you're concerned about that. But this is the, the, um, uh, the worry that keeps you up at night and wakes you up and, and you know, it, you just can't shake it. So in terms of having how to handle that, I, I would only suggest finding things to do that you love and to keep yourself distracted and to keep yourself busy and to find new projects spend time with your loved ones, and maybe pamper yourself a little bit. Because it's no fun when this happens, and particularly if it happens night after night where you can't sleep because you're just so uh, focused on something that is hurting you or causing you uh, the worry. You know, we all have worries in life, and when we see the minor card of the Nine of Swords, you know, it's a, it's a, a daily, a daily bump in the routine. So it's something early on coming on that's going to be causing you to be a little bit stressed out. However, when we look at the King of Wands, we could use some of his energy to help us navigate through this stress and this worry. The King of Wands has a lot of uh, dynamic energy, creative, powerful. He's a strong leader. He's a motivational person someone who is going to motivate you to pick your head up and, and uh, do a better job of not letting things get to you and uh, is successful in life and um, doesn't want to get stuck perhaps too much in the minutia. Give me the big picture. Give me how we're going to get there and then let's go instead of getting, you know, wringing your hands and going, oh, what about if we did this? So... I would say that this can help you, you know, manage the stress that we feel in the Nine of Swords here at the beginning of the month. And then, you know, I'm gonna, I'll get back to this side by side, but we've got the Ace of Cups and we have the Queen of Swords. And the Ace of Cups is a fabulous card because it's the the hope and the offer from the universe for the chance of love and of a relationship or of meeting someone that is going to have an impact on you. Finding someone who connects with your spirit. Finding someone who is emotionally in tune with you. And, you know, when the, you see that the cup is full, you've got peace and the dove in here. And it's just the universe is saying, be open, open your heart, and allow possibilities to come in. Because if you keep shutting down, uh, you're never going to meet anyone. If you, if you remain in a closed heart position, it's going to be hard for someone to come in and to say, hey, give me a chance. Well, with the Queen of Swords, you know, there is a sense of, of aloofness with the Queen. And she's very... Uh, surgical in her approach, very analytical, very logical, and maybe doesn't operate from her heart that much. She's operating from her head. Well, I would say that the ace is important here because the ace is saying, don't logically dismiss someone. Oh, maybe they don't have the right type of car or job. Don't be superficial. You know, don't judge. 
Give yourself the chance to meet people and to have new experiences, and whether it's a deep friendship or what have you, but when you come down with your checklist of items that uh, you want in a partner, and when you're looking at things through a logical and analytical lens, you're gonna might be missing uh, something that's gonna pull and tug at your heart. So I think that that is something to be aware of, Taurus, is Taurus is very methodical and planning and slow and uh, considers carefully decisions. And that's fantastic to do for business sense, but for sometimes for love, you've got to open up your heart and open up that heart chakra and let people in and then go from there to see what's happening. And again, I've got, I'm just gonna do this here, right next to the Ace of Cups is the Two of Cups. It's like the love jackpot and it's exciting. So if you are single, keep your eyes open because the possibility is very, very there for you to meet someone and to meet someone of um, substance for you, someone in uh, equal standing an equal heart and, and emotional um, emotional reserve. So uh, I would just caution you to keep keep your eyes open and here, you know, this is really how this goes, the two the two of cups with the eight of wands. The eight of wands is something happening could happen really quickly. Quick news is coming your way. And it could be new projects, it could be a new relationship, it could be new friends could be traveling, but whatever it is, it's coming in fast. And uh, you have a great opportunity for a deep uh, and enjoyable bond with someone as it's the kind of nice relationship where, you know, you have your partner finishes your, your sentences for you and uh, intuitively knows what you might say or what you might want or desire. You know, maybe they come home with, they know you love flowers and they bring you roses or they maybe they bring you dinner or get you a massage. But this is such a powerful punch right here with the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups with the Eight of Wands of news or messages. And then as we get toward the end of May, we have the Emperor and we have the Sun. And the emperor often reflects the need for, um, I would say, reasonable governance. And it's someone who is, could be a boss, could be a, uh, a strong figure in your life, but it's someone who really has their act together, knows how to run a business, knows how to be fair, and uses authority in a good way, but definitely has structure. There's definitely an order and wants the order to be followed, which really isn't that hard for Taurus because we kind of, are, we do play by the rules, we do work hard, and uh, probably could do a, b a better job with spontaneity, but this is uh, very much about feet on the ground, um, very clear decision-making, and uh, power. You know, there's power. This is ruling the land based on laws and structure, and, um, you know, conventions, coupled with the sun. And the sun is one of the most positive, one of the happiest cards in tarot. And if the sun is the radiance and the joy that you can feel and the optimism, and let the sun shine down brightly on you and uh, soak it in and be free and feel free and have some fun you know, May is going to be a time to get out there and to have some fun and to be around people that um, make you feel better and bring you up. And, you know, the friends that don't do that, who want to um, dampen your sun and, and the radiance of the sun, let them stay home. Send them somewhere else. But you need to focus on, uh, you know, enjoying the vitality and the radiance of the sun. And the, this doesn't last every day, but this is giving you a sense of what's coming, which is really an opportunity to celebrate, to feel free, to 
um, have optimism and to have faith that all things work out. So, wow, I'm a Taurus and I'm, I'm pretty excited of what may come. We have a little bit of worry here, but I think we get squared away. We do combine some logical thinking, but we're going to let our heart open up and to receive what the universe is bringing to us. And we're going to have our eyes and ears open and our senses to take any information from these Eight of Wands. And uh, gosh, let's, um, let's pull another card. And this is going to be our um, focus or key for the month of May. It's recovery. Well, perhaps it's a recovery from all that fun in the sun and being out there and enjoying, but uh, and, and uh, recovering from the work it takes sometimes to, to date and to meet people and to exchange and to have all of those wonderful beginning conversations. And let me just uh, go back for a second here. When I, when I see the Two of Cups, it could also indicate that you're in a relationship and it's getting deeper and it could lead to marriage, you know, when we see the Ace of Cups, but it's a, a wonderful union that's been brought to you from the universe that has depth and maturity and a lot of potential. Let's pull a love card just to see what else we can learn for this month. Kindness. So, you know, share your kindness with others. Treat people well. Treat people with, uh, you know, uh, your authentic spirit. Treat them with love, compassion, and, uh, you know, all the things that you, that you have to offer. It's a lot of beauty in, in kindness, and it's easy to be kind. It's easy to be thoughtful and to be kind and to help people. So I hope that this helped you, Taurus in looking at what's coming down the pike in May. And I uh, wish you the very best and I hope that you have a super, super May channel. Please think about subscribing. I really do appreciate it. And I love to respond to comments and discussions and other people's ideas about uh, interpretations too. And I hope that you'll check back again for future readings. And thank you so much. Bye-bye.